This video was sponsored by Brilliant. I want to know if a number, 57341, is divisible by any of the numbers 2 through 9. But I left my calculator at home and I don't want to do the divisions by hand. Fortunately, I know a few shortcuts. 2. If the last digit is even, it's divisible by 2. 57341 is not divisible by 2. 3. If the digits add up to a multiple of 3, then the number is divisible by 3. 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 equals 20, which is not a multiple of 3, so 57341 is not divisible by 3. 4. If the last two digits are divisible by 4, then so is the whole number. 41 is not divisible by 4, so neither is 57341. 5. If the last digit is 0 or 5, the number is divisible by 5. So, 57341 is not divisible by 5. 6. If the number is divisible by 2 and 3, it's divisible by 6. Based on the previous results, 57341 is not divisible by 6. 7. 7 is particularly tricky, so we'll come back to that in a moment. 8. If the last three digits are divisible by 8, the whole number is. 341 is not divisible by 8, so neither is 57341. 9. If the digits add up to a multiple of 9, it's divisible by 9. 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 is 20, which is not divisible by 9, so 57341 is not divisible by 9. Now the fun part, divisibility by 7. Break off the last digit, double it, and subtract it from the remaining number. Repeat this process until you get a number that's obviously divisible or not divisible by 7. In our example, 57341 becomes 5734 minus 2 times 1, which equals 5732. 5732 becomes 573 minus 2 times 2, making 569. 569 becomes 56 minus 2 times 9, which equals 38. Since 38 is not divisible by 7, neither is 57341. Why in the world does this work? Say we have a number n. Name the last digit of the number b and the other part a, so n equals 10a plus b. Now n is divisible by 7 only if n minus 21b is also divisible by 7. Rearrange the terms to look like our trick. Since 10 is not divisible by 7, and 7 is a prime number, this means a minus 2b is divisible by 7. Pretty neat. There's also a graph that gives you the remainder when you divide a number by 7. How do you use this graph? Start at node 0. For each digit d of the number, move along d black arrows, then one white arrow. Skip the white arrow on the last digit of the number. For example, let's try the number 57341. Start at node 0, move along 5 black arrows to node 5, then 1 white arrow to node 1. Then 7 black arrows back to node 1, then 1 white arrow to node 3. Next, go 3 black arrows and 1 white arrow. Then go 4 black arrows and 1 white arrow. And last, move 1 black arrow to node 4. Finishing at node 4 shows that the remainder on dividing 57341 by 7 is 4. Why does the graph work? In general, moving along the black arrows represents counting powers of 10, and the white arrows represent removing multiples of 7. Let's talk through our example. Since we start at the most significant or largest digit, the numbers in the nodes start representing ten thousands. Moving along the black arrows represents counting the number of ten thousands in the number. Moving along the white arrows represents removing as many seven thousands as possible. In the example, we remove seven times seven thousand equals forty-nine thousand, which takes us to one thousand or node one. Then we still have seven thousands left from the next digit, so we move along seven black arrows. We're back to node one, so we have one thousand left over. We can remove seven hundred from that one thousand, which leaves us with three hundred, exactly where the white arrow goes. The process repeats until we've removed as many multiples of 7 as possible and only the remainder is left. So, do you know any shortcuts for dividing by numbers larger than 10?
If you liked this video, I bet you'd like to learn more about number theory. And one of the easiest ways to do this is with Brilliant. Among their many courses, Brilliant can introduce you to all of the essential tools and concepts in number theory, and then apply them to computational art, code breaking, challenging logic puzzles, understanding infinity, and much more. To learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash tippingpointmath and sign up for free. And as a bonus to Tipping Point Math viewers, the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription.